Hello everyone, I'm Chris. Uh, today, in this video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about setting up your loadout, um, setting up your kit for Airsoft, or one, one uh, specific aspect of setting up that loadout, um, something uh, related to it. Well, it's a mistake I've made in the past. I see a lot of people, you know, when I'm at skirmishes, I see a lot of people doing the same thing. And I've had requests, uh, a few of the subscribers out there, guys on the Facebook, they wanted me to talk about this, so here I am. What I'm going to be looking at is setting up um, placement of molly pouches on uh, on your rig. When I say rig, that's a generic term, I mean plate carrier, chest rig, vest, whatever it is you use. Um, like I say, it's, uh, it's, it's all about the pouch placement today. Um, it's, it's going to be, this is going to be specifically in relation to guys who run a belt rig with your upper torso rig. So, um, you know, you've got stuff around your waist uh, and stuff that you're probably going to need to access. And then you've also got gear up around sort of this area. Um, it's sort of like generally, it's generally the pouches, the, or the tops of the pouches, they'll sit around the base of your rib cage here. And you can get interference issues comes to accessing that stuff in your belt. So I just want to, I mean, what I'm going to show you today, I'm by no means the first person to think of this, but it's, I don't see it mentioned very often. Um, so that, that's basically why I wanted to uh, put the video out. So I'm going to grab a couple of bits of kit over there and uh, just talk through a few things. Okay, so now I've got the full kit on. Now, for the, this first example, this is going to, um, this is going to be the what not to do example. So, what I've gone for is a setup that I would not want to run with a with a belt rig underneath, um, or at least not with a belt rig where I need to get at the stuff quite quickly. Now, this is going to mainly pertain to pistols and pistol mags because primarily what you'll see people having on the belt rig will have a pistol on the on the weapon side. I've like some pistol magazines on the other side, that's certainly what I prefer to do. Now the issue is, you can probably, you can see already, now with, with the, this HSGI loose hatch here, there's no, there's no molly panels in this area, there's just a plastic buckle, so you can't put pouches there, which means you have to put them in the more traditional way. What, what most people do is they'll have, they'll have their chest rig or their plate carrier or whatever, and they'll have their rifle magazine pouches just here, straight out the front, 12 o'clock position, and then either side, um, you know, about 11 and 1 o'clock, they'll have utility pouches, flashbangs, you know, whatever. And, and that's where you can start to get problems if you have a pistol down here on your waist. Now, I mean, you can pretty quickly sum it up by if, if I'm fighting with my rifle, mag runs dry, I decide to, that my rifle's too long for the building I'm going to go in, whatever the situation may be, put that down out of the way, I go for my pistol and straight away that pouch, can can I get to it? Yeah I can, I just didn't, but, and again on the reholster, if I look straight down here, all I see is the top of this pouch, what I want to see is the pistol, you need this area cleared, if your pistol's there, if it's on a drop leg, you know, right down here on your leg, you, you're probably going to be all right. But you, you know, if, if you have uh, the option of being able to make that access route clear and free, keeping keeping the side areas here nice and slick, then that's what you want to be doing for you know in this particular instance. So you know, again, fighting with a rifle. Mag runs dry and there's, you know, so there's an enemy, he's only like five meters away, he's just ducked down, he's about to come up again, return fire at me, I'm like shit, mag's dry, dry from down, pistol wants to come out, oh god, you know, and then uh, engage the target, bang bang, either I get hit or he gets hit, hopefully I, I win that engagement, I'm going to want to reholster, that, that is not, that is not clean and smooth to me, and that, that's just when it comes to the draw and the reholster. If you want to reload, yeah, again, I've got another little sort of general purpose kind of pouch here, and it's straight over the top of my pistol magazines. And it, it seems obvious, I know it does, but it's, it's, uh, 
I, I mean, I've done it in the past, and I'm, I'm guilty of this in my scene. Loads and loads of people doing the exact same thing when they set up their loadout. So, again, I've finally the rifle switched to the secondary for whatever reason that might be. It comes out quite awkwardly. Fire fire firing, slide locks at the rear. Probably an empty magazine. Get rid of that, and I need to get a new one. Well, again, instead of instead of the magazine, what I'm seeing right now is the top of the pouch. On a nice clear access route like that, what I've actually got is if I would go straight down for it, I'm just hitting pouch. So I clear that, the magazine comes out, and there we go. It's like from there because I, uh, as you see, I'm not wearing safety specs, I've not got any uh, ammunition present right now. So, again, and then, say say if I wasn't on a dump pouch, say if I'm reinserting magazines straight into the pouches they came from, then when the slide locks to the rear, we take out the magazine, and I'm looking to reinsert, I'm looking down, and instead of just being able to drop it right in, I've got to push this pouch out of the way, get it back in there, move it again probably, and get to my next one and carry on with the drills of firing. And it's just, it's not life or death, it is a game, but it's not ideal. Um, so, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to switch plate carrier over just to show you the difference. Okay, so now I've got my first bit of strand hog and it is much more of a conventional layout for a plate carrier in that I have space for molly pouches all down the side here and as you'll see rather than see I've still got my rifle magazines straight up you know straight at the front 12 o'clock but then rather than having like a GP pouch there and a, you know, an IFAC there or something like that I've kept these spaces just adjacent to the rifle pouches they're clear and those are the spaces that are straight above the sidearm and the sidearm magazines what I've done is quite simply I mean the, the the, uh, this particular plate carrier is a bit different anyway because you've got the, the tubes um, right adjacent to the magazines. But say you're running a 1694 or uh, you know, there's various other plate carriers, they generally you know you just have a long band of molly all the way around. So what you want to do is take that pouch and move it just there. It's more awkward to get other stuff in the GP pouch back here, I admit, but it's doable or you can get a buddy to help you out. And what it means is that firing with the rifle, magazine runs dry, whatever happens, you need to switch to the sidearm. When I look down, I'm not seeing a pouch, I'm not seeing an obstruction straight away. Eyes onto the sidearm, hand goes straight down, pistol comes straight out in the you know, position I want it to, and I'm there. Similar thing, switching to, to, the, uh, to my other side, but on a magazine. Sort of looking down and just seeing the obstruction, I've got a clear path, come down, index, there's a magazine straight out, out. same with reinsertion, and again on the other side with the, the reholstering of the sidearm, just having that space, it, um, it, it's, it's quite easy to, to also demonstrate this when I'm just stood here, when, when you are in a game, I mean, you know, a lot of paintball players use this same sort of stuff, and, you know, when you've had, you've taken hits, pain, you get adrenaline, you really, like, you're not going to be, when it comes to a pistol tour, you're not going to be sort of, you're not going to be a slow motion like that, you're going to, you're going to quickly, you're going to be like, you're going to be wanting it as fast as possible, and the faster you move, the more likely things are to bind up. So, when if I really grab that pistol out of speed, if there is a pouch here and it hits it, there's a much more of a chance that my sights or my safety catch or anything that's sticking out of the sidearm is going to catch on something on a little zip or a, a bit of loose thread that's hanging out or a little bit of webbing that's sewn into the pouch that you know, you're going to bind up and then you're going to be like that and be there and clear it all out the way and eventually you get out and you can begin firing so again I like I've still got the same amount of actual carrying capacity as I did before I've just rearranged it I've just moved it to a slightly different place so that 
you know, to, to demonstrate again, um, I decide to switch for whatever reason from primary weapon to sidearm. Primary weapon goes down, pistol straight out, bang bang, smooth. Every time, no issues whatsoever. Unless you're a bit of a clumsy idiot like me and you can't holster your sidearm. Similar thing with reloading. Um, if, say if you are fighting with your secondary weapon, um, you know, got no magazine at the moment, but firing away, slide locks because your magazine um, runs dry. I can extract that empty mag, dump it away, or back into the pouch it came from, or on the floor if you're really rich and you can just afford to throw really fragile magazines onto the floor. Come out with the next magazine. Fire it. And, uh, you know, it's just it's just so much less hassle. There's so much less to go wrong. Um, and it's it's just quicker and smoother. And it doesn't cost you anything. It's not like you're having to buy some expensive bit of kit that enables you to, to clear that holster um, more quickly and efficiently. There's, you know, there's no cost involved, you're just re, um, reallocating, you know, repositioning the kit you've already got. Um, it's, it might depend, you might have a chest rig that stops here maybe, so you can't put pouches back there, but a lot, there's plenty of guys out there that run full vests, or they've got a chest rig with a back panel, or they've got a plate carrier like this, they're, they're pretty popular. So, you know, generally, for most people, there's not going to be anything stopping you moving your kit around and making life much much easier for yourself so um, hopefully some of you out there watching uh, that will be a helpful tip for you uh, if you've got any questions about it um, i'm always answering any uh, any and all that i can if you put them down in the comments there please do check out the facebook page i'll put a link in the description um, and any other questions or queries just let me know so Thanks for watching, I do appreciate it. I'll see you next time.